Hi everyone, this is Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting Halloween video. It's a haul plus a little mini vlog for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so I just um, pulled out our um, Halloween bin. It's not that big, but then again I have um these two drawers full of halloween and fall decor and then um this is what i have purchased this year so far i you know try to usually just buy little pieces here and there um every year just to you know not have too much and then i usually try to purge every year I post things on Facebook Marketplace or offer up and see um, uh, just, I guess, how much my style changes over the years. Um, so I just opened this garland and it's going to look like this. It's a beautiful pinkish, purplish, um, and light orange garland. It says Happy Halloween. This was the hardest thing to open um it was all stuck with glue every little piece of letter and star was stuck with glue on the paper that came with it so that was really hard to open uh which sucks but um nothing came damaged or anything i thought the paint would peel from the letters and this was 16.99 I know I already showed some of these things on Instagram, so make sure to follow me there as well. It is my same name that I have here on YouTube. It's Karen Joy. And um, I typically tend to post a little bit more there. And then I didn't show this on Instagram because I saw it um, a little bit later, like about a week after in Home Goods. It's this beautiful hammered metal jack-o-lantern it's a beautiful gold color it is a you know just a little bucket of candle holder or cauldron um and this was only 7.99 which surprised me it's it was a really good price it's really big sturdy um and i'm planning to put twinkle lights in there i think they'll look so cute and then i showed this one last time it's a orangey tone jack-o-lantern candle holder and this one was five dollars i'm not sure if i'm going to use this one since i did find this one um and i'll see what i do if i don't i'll just go return and i showed you these two there are these pompous uh grass um they have a little orange tone to it which I would have preferred just a regular like wheat or um, beige color, but I'll see what I do with that. If not, these are also going back. And then let me turn on around over here. I found these cute little napkins, two ninety nine. I like getting festive napkins and um, plates to do little fun um lunches or dinners with the girls and they usually love that watch a movie have some popcorn some desserts and they are happy as a clam and then i went to target and i found a lot of cute little things first and foremost um well i think everything here is actually from the dollar spot so i got some things from the dollar spot and um, the first things I saw were these socks. They are knee-high socks. So I got one for my um, oldest daughter and one for my um, youngest daughter. And then I saw this um, cute pair. It says, I put a spell on you. And then this eye, uh, googly eye socks. I think I got one more, yeah. I think I got one more. I mean, you can't beat these. They're only one dollar. And then I found these. They are plastic boo straws. Let's see, that's how you do. Okay. They are plastic boo straws for only a dollar. 
I found these two googly eyes. Um, these were a dollar a piece, which I thought was a great deal, but then I went to um, Five Below and they actually had bigger pair of eyes, a pair for $1.25. So um, yeah, make sure you try to look around first before you purchase. I mean, a dollar each was not too bad, but I would have preferred having bigger eyes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I think it'll be cute like to put in a front door or something, um, or a mirror. And then I found these little treat bags. Um, they go like that, so you just kind of bend over the little flap there. Um, and they were three for a dollar, so I thought that was cute. And then, last thing I got from there were these little mummy fingers. I think these are so cute. Um, and again, you could use, your, use them for decor or put them in a little goodie bag for the kids. These were only a dollar for 10. My girls love witch fingers or mummy fingers. Um, so I grabbed that for them. All right, so um, I forgot to show these other items that I got from Target as well, of course, always. Mrs. Meyer's um, holiday scents. The apple cider scent is one of my favorites. So I had to pick um, the soap and the spray up. I just love how it really gives you that, that little pick me up that you need when you're cleaning up the house. I like to use it for um, my countertops in the kitchen. And then um, we also got these creepy eyeballs. They're bubble gums and they're so cute. I thought these would have been cute for the coffee bar as well. Um, the girls have been loving these gums. I think these were $3 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're really, really cute and creepy. I was also able to get these um, festive sandwich bags. They are 50 bags for $2.99. I thought these were so cute to um, use for the girls' lunches and snacks at school. And then I did find um, this little skeleton hand. Um, it was in our local grocery store. Um, it's called Kroger's. I believe um, Kroger's is like a Menards in other states and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken. So um, yeah, it was really um, well-made. It was only, $3.99 but it was on sale uh, I think it was a 30% off so it was about $2.50 um, so yeah I really liked it um, you could use it to put a candle or a little pumpkin or anything really um, so I was excited about that next was Walmart and I found this cute little pumpkin pie pumpkin these were only $2.49 and I always like getting one or two um, just for a simple decor piece to put around the house. I have this one. I think I'm going to put it in my kitchen. And then I found these two little hanging bats. They were two for 98 cents. And I think they're so cute. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, um, but I'll see what I do. And then um, we got these Halloween leaf bags. They are these were the smaller ones. They're two pieces for 98 cents and then the, the giant one for uh, 98 cents. I've always wanted to use these and we never have um, just because our leaves don't really fall in time for Halloween, but I'm pretty sure we have enough leaves um, in our backyard with our oak trees. So I hope these don't rip. I hope they're not too thin. And yeah, I think they'll be uh, really beautiful to just put around the house and then uh the last thing from walmart was this beautiful iridescent skull um it's a treat jar and this was the last one that i found in my walmart as well um and i just really loved its little face it doesn't look too creepy and i love the color this was only 2.98 and i thought um it would make you know a cute addition to our kitchen and then i found these cute um, little mini cauldron pills they're so cute i think they'll be cute for our um probably like a little centerpiece for their plates if we do a little Halloween lunch um, and these were only 74 cents 
or you could also um, put little treats here for your kids and give it to them as a gift. I think that would be perfect. I just think they're so cute. I had to grab them. Last but not least is this beautiful pink pumpkin. I absolutely love it this year. It has a beautiful shape and color all around. Um, and this was $6.98 at Walmart. I just need to give it a, a good clean up, but it is so beautiful. I'm so excited um, to see where I can place it this year. And then last but not least, I have this bag. Um, I found these at Buy Below. They are 30 count bats for $1.50. And I thought that was a great deal. Um, I'm thinking of putting these in a wreath or just simply stick them around the walls. It's such a simple thing that you can do and it makes a big statement. And then the rest of the things are from Hobby Lobby. I grabbed this ribbon. I was trying to find a velvet ribbon. The only one they had in my Hobby Lobby was a really thick one and then a... Um, like a shredded one um, so I decided just to get these regular um, ribbons here and I am thinking of just tying um, this pink around like sconces or vases or the pumpkin even I got this blue one for possibly Christmas um, I'll see what I do with them and then I found this awesome disco ball um i originally bought mine i believe it was right before valentine's day and i bought it from amazon for about 15 dollars, i would say and i saw someone post this on instagram that hobby lobby had these in the christmas section so i went over i found the last one it is a little broken just one um, so it's not bad, but it was way cheaper than what I bought it at Amazon for. This was, let's see, it was marked $19.99 and it came out to $11.99. So yeah, if you guys are have been looking for disco balls, um, I would definitely run to your Hobby Lobby and see if they have them. So yeah, I'm excited to start decorating. We're supposed to have a cold front coming our way this week so i'm so excited for everything that is to come oh and then these uh branches are actually from our maple tree that we have outside i thought it would be perfect for fall um, and best of all it's free i realized i was missing a lot of my decor and I realized that I had a whole box missing in my garage and I just found it. So, yay, so excited. Here's the rest of my stuff. Also, we got a new little puppy. Can you say hi, Levi? He is six months old and he is a shipu, so a shih tzu and a miniature poodle mix and he is just our best friend right Levi? yeah are you wondering who i'm talking to <laughs> he is i think oh calm down Levi. um he is 13 pounds right now and he's six months old i believe they said they can grow up to be about 18 pounds but he's going to stay um this short and yeah we're so happy to have a new puppy in our family it's been a while right papa and we just went to go take him to get a hair trim uh but since it was his first time they kind of just wanted to introduce him and um have a good experience with it so they just kind of trimmed his um eyes and his um you know his privates so he can be clean and trimmed his nails they said he did pretty good he's such a good dog yeah <laughs> yeah buddy i was able to um decorate that little area over there let me get a closer look
So I'll try to look for a before. I completely forgot to um, show you guys how it looked before. Um, I'm still not done with it. I think I want to add one more thing here, maybe like a runner. Um, but I put my Boo balloons here. I think they're so cute and festive and simple. These are from Walmart last year. And um, I think they have new ones this year. Um, I saw some that were cute and iridescent and they had little glitter inside of it and uh, it spells out boo. So those will be cute if you guys are looking for for any balloons that are cheap. Um, but I just still have these from last year. You just kind of blow them up again. And I just simply just kind of tape them back here with some painter's tape. Painter's tape is my best friend. I use it for a lot of things. And then, yeah, just a little stack of pumpkins. And we were able to move these sconces a little lower. I had them a tad bit too high. Um, so yesterday I moved them um, lower and for a simple little touch, I added these satin ribbons. And I think it goes great with the black and pink theme for Halloween. Okay, so I put this cheesecloth um, runner on here. I believe I got that from Walmart on clearance like a couple years back. Um, so yeah, I think it looks great and simple here. This is leading to our front door, so um, I'll probably just have the bowl of candy there for the little trick-or-treaters. So yeah, I love this simple and sweet look. I think it looks perfect. It's a little assembly line. That's cute. Okay. Yeah, but look, here. Good deal. Oh, and then they assemble it? Is it turned again? Oh, they go under. Go, Lenny. I'm not talking that Okay, go. Go, go, go. Follow them. Well, that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you guys soon with more Halloween videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.